Greenass 11.2 U4 is out as of May 7th, 2019. Today is May 8th, and I loaded it yesterday. I didn't really have any problems loading it. The upgrade went rather smooth, didn't have any problems. And I also went, and you can see a couple uh, instances where I loaded up the machine right here. N nothing broke, and that was what I want to do is, you know, I loaded it yesterday. I was uh, swapping around some VMs. And most of the use case we have, because this is technically my production machine, is this uh, video that you're watching now is edited on this machine because it'll be past tense because it's recording now. And anyways, um, that is one of our uses. So it's our, my video storage server. It also houses uh, on all of our VMs uh, for Dozer is what the name of the server is. And we have a NFS mount and a iSCSI mount. And I was, the load you've seen on this was because I kept swapping things back and forth between them, uh, moving data around, didn't have any problem. Now we also do have local storage as well. So it's a combination of everything. But when I do my demos, my lab and everything else uh, that I do in Zen Orchestra or even some of our production stuff, it's all stored on this particular server or it's stored here locally. Most of the time, all the extra stuff we throw here. Um, and here's what it looked like when I was loading it up, throwing things at it. This is the built-in net data for Dozer FreeNAS for FreeNAS 11.2. Uh, the service turned on right now. I really like net data. If you're not familiar with it, go look it up. I've done a couple of videos on it. But overall, the system seems to be working smoothly, no issues at all. Now, I've seen there's a lot of fixes for things like hard drive temperature. Uh, I've actually had the hard drive temperature working for a while in mine, but I guess some people didn't, so they have some updates for that. And as far as the updates uh, in terms of other issues, I've seen over on Reddit, someone said it wasn't working from the command line. I think I've seen it also somewhere in the forums, uh, but I did it through the UI and it worked perfectly fine. Now, there's not anything major about U4. It's just a small update. Uh, they do have, please note, if you're having problems with the plugins uh, or the jails, and I did not, my jails are working perfectly fine, no issues there. Uh, but they do have a specific fix for them, IO cage fetch P plugin name, I'll restore parameters, and it's to fix some parameter problems, uh, issues that apparently pop up in there. I didn't have this, so I didn't have to do any of this. Now, in far as improvements, like I said, not anything groundbreaking here. Lots of little uh, UI improvements and lots of like, you know, color layout, select dialogue, uh, some localization options updated. Now, the bug fixes, there's a quite a few, but they're all small. None of them were major. One of the things I do did notice that I liked here was they added some optimizations for SMB. And it sounds like it's use case for people uh, when reading data via SMB at six to eight gig uh, a second. So it sounds like, you know, people using uh, 10 gig connections uh, and having really high data usage. So some tuning that was done in there uh, to solve that, which is awesome. That's great that they are very much on that. Now, I don't have, uh, we, even though we use this for Samba sharing for all my video editing uh, with my workstation here, we don't use it uh, with Active Directory really, but for, with a few clients. And so maybe I'll report back if there's any problems, but I'm not aware of any at this moment. But everything else connected fine, NFS, iSCSI, uh, the jail started right up. Now, I'm not using the virtualization or the Docker system in here. I don't have any virtual machines to find. So uh, I don't have much input on any of that, but you know, jump over to the forums if you're having any problems. So overall, I like the update. I'm gonna be updating more of our client systems on there. I usually like to load our system first and then slowly get around to updating all the client ones. There's nothing in here that was any groundbreaking, shattering CVEs that had to be patched. So it's not like a huge hurry for this one, but I still like to keep everything up to date, especially our systems and then see if we run into any problems. And then once again, we file bug reports if there are any issues. But overall, it's been working great. Uh, no problems with it. Like I said, I even uh, loaded it up a bit to, you know, just do a bunch of miscellaneous tasks. I started doing it yesterday, I did it again this morning and it hasn't had any problems at all. So overall, I'd say definitely load this. I don't really see a reason not to, but once again, stay in the forums and always back up everything in case there's a problem. The last thing I'll address though is in the updates, uh, cause someone asked me this, actually it seems to be a common problem that people have and I'm, I'm actually confused by it cause I can't reproduce it, which is when you go to the update, People seem to be confused which train I'm on to make it look like this. I'm on the standard FreeNAS 11.2 stable. I'm not running nightlies. I'm, it's a standard release train. Uh, I know there are other ones like the nightlies available and things like that if you want 
uh, something different, but this is the one I'm on. So I'm trying to run standard production. This is what we run for any of our clients that we've updated to the new systems is standard, you know, 11.2 stable uh, releases. So if someone said they're not getting the updates or they have a different update than I do. I don't know what you're doing other than maybe you're doing something in the nightly. I'm always uh, on the stable edition unless I say so otherwise, which sometimes I build test machines for, uh, but I do stay within the stable edition. I've been overall uh, really happy with it. And once again, if you do have any problems, uh, one of you know always back up. But free NAS, I've covered this before, makes it really easy to switch back to the old one because it does not destroy the old install. So you can just choose to set. Um, my head out of the way. You can set and reactivate the previous version if you need to. Uh, so if you have problems with this version, you can always reactivate to the old version on here, and that's kind of a you know quick and easy way to revert back if you experience a bunch of problems with the new version. So you can revert back until those problems are solved and another update comes out or, you know, look at what you have to do to solve that problem. All right. Uh, thanks for watching and continue discussion in the forums. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.